Hi everyone! When getting the correct exposure for your scene, it is always a good idea to make use of metering modes. In this video, we discuss the three primary metering modes found in digital cameras. Every DSLR or digital camera has metering modes. The three primary ones are spot metering, center-weighted metering, and multi-metering, which is sometimes called zone, matrix, or evaluative metering. Now, every camera has a metering system. This system works by evaluating the scene in an attempt to get a reflectance of 18% gray. To do this, it takes a look at all the bright areas in the scene, as well as all the dark areas. And from that, it can determine whether to darken or brighten the image in order to get that technically correct exposure of 18% gray reflectance. As you'd expect, this brings along some challenges. Camera meters work well in evenly lit situations. However, that is not always the case. For example, if you're shooting outside on a very bright day, the camera will take all the light from the bright areas as a need to darken the image in order to expose correctly when in fact it was just a very bright scene. The camera would do the opposite in a darker scene. Let's say you're taking a picture of someone wearing a black shirt. Because black is much darker than 18% grey, the camera's meter will read that as a need to introduce more whites in order to be able to achieve 18% grey overall. This is where metering modes become useful. We'll begin with multi or evaluative metering. This is the default mode on most cameras. It works by taking reflectivity information from five areas that cover majority of the scene and then produces an average reading for the entire scene. From that data, the camera can achieve a reflectance of 18% grey throughout the entire scene. The second mode is called center-weighted metering. This mode evaluates the light in the middle of the frame as well as the areas surrounding it, excluding the edges. In other words, a circular area in the middle of the frame is analyzed. And from that data, 18% grey reflectance is achieved only for that circular area. Lastly, we have spot metering. This mode also evaluates light at the center of the frame However, this time imagine a circular area that is much smaller than that used in center-weighted metering. This mode allows the user to meter reflectivity from a very small portion of the scene, which can be very useful when shooting smaller objects. Again, the camera will achieve a reflectance of 18% grey only for that small circular area. Multi-metering works best when you're dealing with an evenly lit scene like this one. Center-weighted metering works very well in a situation where you have your subject in front of a very bright light source like this photo. For comparative purposes, you can see how the multi-metering mode would leave your subject underexposed in such a situation. Spot metering works best when you want your exposure set for small objects. For example, this is a wide-angle shot and all I'm interested in are the circled areas. So I moved my spot to one of them and we have our subject well exposed. Metering modes are very handy and give you a considerable level of control when getting your exposure. Make sure you experiment with the modes available on your camera before taking it out on the field. Thanks for watching and I hope this video was useful to you. Please leave a like or a comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Catch you folks in the next one.